More stunning findings by our Project Baltimore team after Fox 45 obtained unredacted state test scores for every school in Baltimore City. Now, these results have not yet been released to the public, but Chris Pavs has been analyzing them, and what he discovered is hard to believe, even at the highest performing schools in the city. When it comes to the most recent Maryland state test scores, I can't tell you how horrible that is. There's a consensus. Parents, guardians, supporters need to be outraged. What Project Baltimore discovered in these unredacted test results is a problem. Do you find it acceptable that there's 13 high schools in Baltimore City with no students proficient in math? No. At 13 Baltimore City high schools, not a single student who took the 2023 math exam in the spring scored proficient. Not one. It's sad and it's disheartening because today, more than ever, the school system has the money and the resources. We obviously are not doing enough. This is when people get fired. Project Baltimore made the discovery after a source gave us the unredacted test scores for every school in Baltimore City. The data has not yet been released to the public. But we didn't just find 13 city high schools with zero students who tested proficient in math. We also looked at the city's top schools and what we discovered there may be just as alarming. According to the state test results, these are Baltimore's five top performing high schools in terms of math proficiency. At these schools, a combined 809 students took the state math test in the spring. 92 students tested proficient, meaning a total of about 11% of students are proficient in math at the best high schools in Baltimore. When Maryland public school students take the state test, their scores place them in one of four categories. Level one is beginning, all the way up to level four, distinguished. Of the 92 students who tested proficient in math at the five best Baltimore City high schools, all 92 tested into level three. There were no level fours. In fact, there was not one high school student in the entire city in math who achieved the highest level of proficiency. City school CEO Dr. Sonia Santelisis last year earned $445,000 in total compensation. And I will just continue to say of Maryland's 24 public school systems, she's the highest earning leader. And since 2016, she's been leading the state's lowest performing district. If I were mayor right now, Sheila Dixon a Democrat candidate for mayor of Baltimore, says she's seen enough. She has already called for the CEO of city schools to resign. Tuesday morning, she appeared on Fox 45 News, calling for more accountability. We've got to have answers, and we can't just get a press release um, from the school system saying that we're working on it. City schools will not do an interview with Fox 45 to give the public answers. But the district did explain in a statement that in seven of eight grade levels, math proficiencies in spring 2023 did increase from the previous year. The statement went on to say, we acknowledge that some of our high school students continue to experience challenges in math, following the pandemic. One singular person is never the, the solution or the single problem. While some city leaders are calling for Santelises to resign, others, like State Senate President Bill Ferguson, are standing by her. I have a great deal of faith in Dr. Santelises. She is uh, incredibly thoughtful. Ferguson told Fox 45 that education is a continuum and he doesn't hold any one person accountable because he says if a student is not performing in high school, that likely means a student didn't receive enough support in elementary or middle school. But it's worth pointing out Dr. Santelises was in charge of city schools when these high school students were in elementary school. She's now been the CEO for more than seven years. A 10th grader today was in third grade when she took over. Obviously, we have to have unbelievable urgency to, to it's not acceptable uh, where we are, but that doesn't mean that the entire system is broken. We need to hold the school CEO and the administration accountable. I'm Chris Pabst. Thanks for watching. Here's another story to watch. Also, if you have a story idea, please send us a message.